Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with the coolest video I've done in a long time. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Nintendo e Entertainment System emulator, or the NES, on your iPod or iPhone. I'm going to show you how to control it using your Wiimote. This is totally legit. I'm not making this up. This totally works. It's awesome. And yeah, it's really cool. Works much better than touch controls because you're actually touching something. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is download Rock for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Obviously you're going to need to be jailbroken for this, but pretty sure you guys should know that. Um, if you don't know what Rock is, it's basically kind of a, an alternative to Cydia. And just because you download it, it does not mean you have to go away from Cydia or anything, but this is the way to do it. Um, you can also get it in Cydia through the uh, Zod TTD repo, which is a community repo, you should already have it. Um, and if you download it through there, basically all it will do is download Rock for you through that way. Um, either way, it doesn't matter, whichever one's more convenient to you. Um, so yeah. So anyway, let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick. Okay. So once you're in here, assuming you're doing it from Rock, it's really simple. All you're going to need to do is just hit trial, download it. It will be a, I'm almost positive, a 10 day trial. And for free, um, it's it's not 100%, you know, obviously you're going to need to uh, buy it or do something later on. But the trial works, and uh, obviously it works for the Wiimote. So anyway, let's go ahead and set up the uh, Wiimote and show you guys how to do it and all. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and open up the launcher. Now I will note for this, to before you do it, you will need to make sure that Bluetooth is shut off and the way it works is through Bluetooth and unfortunately if you have um, an earlier iPhone or if you don't have an iPod Touch second generation if you have an iPod Touch first generation you don't have Bluetooth unfortunately um, but if you do have Bluetooth you're all set okay so at this point just launch it and it'll start searching okay so we can set this aside and pull out our Wiimote just a standard Wiimote you don't I mean if you want you can buy one of these which is I believe it's about forty dollars or so you can buy one of these or if you have a Wii already you have one so anyway, it's very simple if you've ever used it before you know that all you have to do is press one and two so let me show you guys here getting both here so just hold one and two and there we go we're in okay so you see it's connected and it shows now you just pick out whatever ROM you want to use so let me go ahead and get all everything set up show you guys how to use it okay guys so let's go ahead and get this one started so the controls are pretty simple this is going to be the same and you are going to need to have it on uh, it's landscape mode I guess um, these, this is start this is select um, and then this is A and B so it's real simple so let's go ahead and hit start let's do a two play, one player game there we go now I'll show you guys so and it's just like anything else you know There we go. And of course, this will work for any NES game. Um, you basically just hook up the ROM. I'm not going to you know, tell you guys how to do that. You should know. And obviously, know how to do it legally and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Ooh, almost. And as you can see here, that the controls are really good. The, good. Uh, the Wiimote works well. Um, you know, it's not it's nothing amazing. I mean, you know, compared to the controller, it just does feel a little bit odd, but it's still, I mean, just miles and miles ahead of what the uh, using the controls on the iPhone. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, once you all you need to do is just make sure it's paired. Um, and like I said before, be sure that oops, well, I'm pretty much dead, but be sure that you do have uh, Bluetooth shut off. So that uh, BT stack, which is what it uses to connect to it, can uh, connect properly. So anyway, guys, that is how to use a Wiimote to control your Nintendo Entertainment System uh, on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Very cool. Works perfectly. 